Waiting for somebody to shoot me so I can counter it. There it is. Oh, knocked him out. Not. Oh, another knock. Freeze him out there. There it is. Keep, stay out there. And he's dead. Got him, boys. Combo. Comboed. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I'm dead. Hey, what's going on, friends and family? My name is Skylint. This is a game called Spell Sworn. Uh, so, this is a title I'm excited about because I liked Magic of Wizard Wars, and I'm also kind of a little bit of a fan of Battle Rights. And this title, Spell Sworn, is maybe something in between. It seems it's a MOBA, it's a battle arena uh, that focuses on magic. It's 3v3, I believe. And uh, I don't know what the full mechanics are. This is a raw first impression. I just downloaded it. But somebody did request this in the comments of one of my last videos. So thanks so much for the request, guys. I was going to do it anyways, but just, you know, just want to shout you guys out. Thanks so much for uh, hanging out and letting me know about some cool games. But generally, that's my job. I try to find the games before you guys, but, you know, whatever. Anyway, so we're just probably going to, um, let me just look through the key bindings real quick. Uh, okay, Q-E-R-A-A-S-D-F. Uh, look, yeah, okay, yeah, so general, general MOBA controls. I guess that's okay. I'm just going to hit quick join and hopefully... Hopefully, things will just work out and stuff. And yeah, just the first look, guys. I'm not going to be, like, fully reviewing it here whatsoever. We're just going to play the game, look at the mechanics, and try to hype it up. But try not to candy it up too much. I like to, uh, you know, give you my literal, real, raw first, uh, you know, look impressions. All right. So here we go. Jump in. I know this lava um, actually recedes here and uh, eats up the arena. So it's kind of like, uh, you know, like Battle Royales kind of do that. I know uh, Battle Right actually literally does this. You will respawn at the next shop phase. So it looks like there's rounds and you can actually um, get a get a shop in between the rounds, possibly. Okay. So here's the graphics. As you can see, we're just going to kind of uh, look at this and critique this just quite a little bit, a little bit. See it, uh, little ticks swallowing up the arena there. Graphics seem kind of harsh, actually. I, I think I would prefer generally a more um, clean art style. Kinda, I kind of like the cartooniness of Battle Right. Uh, this definitely reminds me a lot of Magic of Wizard Wars in the uh, the aesthetic design. But this is much more just like in your face, hey, this is a combat, you know, thing. It looks like there's actually gonna be lots of knotbacks and uh, stuff going into the lava. That's cool, that's cool too. That's cool too, I think it's gonna be a cute little kind of like party game. Hey, I can see this as like a party game, an online party game. We'll see how good it is, uh, how responsive it is as we jump in here, but these guys, man, they're duking it out, dude. They're going places. So they got a couple of different spells. I don't know what these spells do or anything. What, what, what is this? I'm clicking on something. Are these the people who are fighting now? I don't know what this is. Oh, well. Immolate. Okay, so we're going to have a Q to F, uh, which is pretty good key bindings here. What is the freaking black hole? Oh, somebody got wrecked. Okay, so he's dead. So it encroaches really, really slowly, but I imagine... Oh, well, this fight is actually going for like 10 freaking minutes. That's a bit intense. Magic of Wizard Wars generally ended much quicker uh even though it was like bigger maps generally i thought it did uh this is just a flat arena i'm not sure what these towers do they're just for aesthetics anyways we should probably get into the game ourselves here pretty soon pretty soon we'll come into this round oh and it plays in rounds too oh man do you is there any audio coming out of this I'm really hearing audio oh i can actually click on them oh wait do you have loadouts i don't think so no it looks like there is right is there yeah, this guy has different spells than this guy. Magic Missile. This guy has Homing Shock. Oh wait, can we choose our different spells? Oh, that guy's dead. That guy got wrecked or -ronied. Nice, he got a little cute little dance. I kind of like this guy's aesthetic. All right, so we're, we're in here. I'm ready. I'm good to go. Oh, you buy the spells. Oh, it's like um that Dota game mode. Um, Imba, right? Okay, let's get, um, let's get Bouncer. I'll buy that. Bouncer, Counter Pulse. Oh yeah, totally. Throw a malicious chakra that cuts anyone it touches. No. Uh, frost bolt. Let's get the home the homing easy. Upgrade it. Upgrade, upgrade, max. Mad shock. Let's get a frost bolt. Make it easy to uh, play. And um, up, yeah, let's upgrade counter pulse. Easy. Why not? Upgrade all the things. And there's area effect skills that I didn't take or anything. Acid pool. No. Arcane missiles. Sounds, I don't know. I just I just got stuff and things. All right, so I'm gonna I'm ready. I'm going in. I'm ready. I want to play. I want to jump in, dudes. How do I play? Look, get me in here. Okay, we got 20 seconds. I think uh, here. Oh, there's my character. Oh, here's my guy. You just run toward your. Oh, it's point to click. Okay. Yeah, makes sense. Bouncy. Oh, and it also bounces up. Okay. Okay. I got a little counter. Nice. Oh, that's a big one. Frost bolt. Um, pretty, pretty big nuki type of spells. I'm feeling it. I'm, I'm looking forward to it. Jam to this, guys. 
Alright. Alright, let's go, man. Okay, so bouncy. I'm just gonna throw that out there. Um, this guy, I'm gonna try to counter his spell or whatever. Oh, I can actually bounce it off of me? Holy crap, that's actually pretty cool. Counter. Oh, and it actually goes to where I'm aiming? That's pretty sick. Slight homing spell there. Um, try to freeze this guy. Lots of slow moving stuff, which I'm pretty cool with. I'm pretty cool with. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Actually, this is pretty intense, dude. It's a magic, like, simulator of sorts. Oh, wow, he's got a blink teleport knockback? Holy moly. Oh, he's zippity zapping me, dudes. It's okay. Uh, no auto attack though, so it's all it's all like skill shots, which is pretty intense. Uh, I think you want to try to. Oh, he's gonna teleport or not? Or I don't know what's going on. Oh boy. Woo! It's a battle royale. Last one standing wins, I'm assuming. All right, counter. Uh, I don't know if I did anything. Here, let's try to hit this frost. Okay, so I think. Um, dang, dude. Okay, so I'm I am really not doing good. This actually seems like a very skill based game. Um, okay, so what I want to do is probably counter... Wait, where am I? I'm right here. Waiting for somebody to shoot me so I can counter it. There it is. Oh, knocked him out. Not. Oh, another knock. Freeze him out there. There it is. Keep, stay out there. And he's dead. Got him, boys. Combo. Comboed. Uh-oh. Ooh. Oh, no. Oh, no. And I'm dead. <laughs> it's actually really intense. Now, it doesn't have the mechanical intensity of something like Battle Right. It doesn't move as fast. Uh, and it's not like insane, like playing, um, you know, <laughs> I guess, I guess Magic of Wizard Wars, cause you know, you have to do like all the crazy button combinations, like fighting games. It's not like that. It's pretty simple, straightforward, but, but you do have like, you have to actually build your character. You have to build your kit, which is cool. Still magic based, but cool. And, um, you can upgrade different things. So you upgrade through the rounds, I guess, I see, or maybe you rebuy. So this does play in rounds. So it is pretty fast rounds, actually. So that number is like for all the rounds total. So this guy's pretty good at this game. You're pretty good, dude. Pretty good at this whole thing. Shopping round. Let's get to shopping. Okay, so we can buy more skills. Charge. Uh, you wrap yourself in kinetic energy and dash through the battlefield. Um, I think I want to do that. I want to get next to somebody. I'm going to use S. Can I put it to D? Put it to D? You know, because Flash is on D in uh, League of Legends. Chain hook. An arcane artifact that chains and blades and grasp anything you shoot at it. If the hook latches onto a player, the player is dragged towards you. If the hook latches onto a static object, you're dragged toward the object. So, like, Nautilus. Speed boost. Uh, dimensional gate. Forcing two points in existence to become one. Mm. Oh, and transports projectiles between them? Ooh. Time zone. I think I wanted to, wait, what is it? Fetch. You tear a hole in space through which you can force anything or anyone back with you. So could I dash out into the lava and then fetch and blink and then do, I think you could do a lot of really cool pulley stuff. Um, let's go with, hmm. I think I'm gonna go with the chain hook because that just sounds cool, man. So can I get a chain hook, please? Let's buy the chain hook. Wanna buy? Do I have, oh, I don't have money. I was looking at all this, I don't even have money. That's fine, I'm ready. I'll ready up, boys. Let's go. Let's go, I kinda like the character design, it's pretty cool. All right, here we go. Here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna get close to somebody and then freeze them or something. So I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna miss all the things. That's okay. I'm just in like this pool of acid. That's all. That's all, boys. And F is like a ultimate. Oh, so I wanna dash into somebody. I wanna F and then, oh, move out of the way for this. Knock him out of the way here. Oh man, I'm just like going all over the place. D, 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 F. Emulate, oh my god, I am just, oh, all the suck, dude. So yeah, you definitely move slow. That's definitely part of the gameplay. I think this is actually really cool. I think this is, like, really neat. Now I'm just, I'm just jumping into you, you know, I'm just in the first look. Um, I probably didn't build the right kit exactly. I didn't have any, uh, goal or idea of what was in the game, but this is actually pretty cool. Um, so you gotta look out for the, I, I like that you, you can actually dodge and, and kind of dance around that. That's pretty sick. So I think you might want to throw out the homing, then slow them somehow so they get hit by the homing, and then you kind of chain knock them around. That's pretty cool. Whoa, dude, did he just freaking shadow clone? Get the he <laughs> get the heck out of here. That's actually sick. Or you could slow zone them uh, and then do the homing. So I think homing's pretty going to be pretty standard. Shock also seems like it's easier to land and hit. Um, but I think you're definitely rewarded for comboing and trying to knock people into the lava. Uh, you might also want to play, maybe you could actually play the game more like dodgy and kind of just kind of play it stealth, you know, like running around, wait till the lava gets really low. And then since you have higher mobility, you have higher chances of surviving then, 
Uh, and then you can use your few attacks to just push them out and ring them out, kind of sumo it. I think there is actually some really cool strategy. I like the fact that you actually build your kits uh, and it's not gated through progression, you know, through a cash shop. It seems like it's just cosmetics. I really hope so. Um, we're gonna look at the cash shop after this, just, you know, for the first look. Oh, we should do that, but dude, look at look at this slugfest happening, dude. Look at this guy, look at this. Look what's going on. Oh, this guy. Oh, there we go, man. Victory, nice. Dude, look at the art. It's uh, pretty good. I like it. Good, oh my goodness. Good stuff, guys. Good stuff. I, I appreciate that. So how good did I do? I got a pretty, pretty bad score. Silent Killer did the best. No, he did the best. He got nine kills out of everything. It seems like a really fun uh, party-ish mage game. You know, I I think it's pretty cool. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind it. I kind of wish the textures were a little cleaner, uh, like they are on the models, but yeah, it's, it's definitely pretty decent. You know, if we can keep getting uh, more spells and stuff added to the game, I don't know, man. This 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 could turn out pretty great. Now, this is a newer free-to-play. Am, am I mistaken? Or did it just now come to Steam? Uh, this is a newer game. Hopefully, they do keep updating it because I think it's pretty nice. Invite, I think, let's see, can we have private? Oh, I'm going to jump out of the game. Can we have private? Spell Sworn Tournament. Really? Spagooty booty. Somebody touching my spagooty. Okay. Inventory. Uh, we get, what, equip? We get different items? Items? Uh, customize your character. Uh, we have weapons and characters. You unlock the different characters. I'm assuming through the shop or just through playing. The store's coming soon, so I don't have access to that. So we can't actually look at the store. Um, but overall, this is pretty cool. This is pretty cool. Thanks for recommending this, guys. You can see, though, that the player count is rather low. Uh, Battle Right does have more. But this is at least more than Magic of Wizard Wars, which is uh, shut down now. So, yeah, the game just came out. This is uh, the 1.0 release. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking it's worth checking out, you know, especially if you can get people on here, play it like an online party game. In fact, I'm doing a top 10 online party game list. And I know this is just the first look, but I think I'm so excited. I'm just really geeky about games that let you build your own kits. I think that I'm gonna have to put this on that top 10. So look forward to that top 10 upcoming. And thanks for watching my first look for Spellsworn. I know it's just literally just the first game, but that's what it is. If you want to see me uh, do a review on this proper, then, uh, you know, look forward to that. Let me know in the comments below. Or if you have any other games that you want me to do videos on, please let me know in the comments below. I know it's called Scaling Games, but that's just because I do the videos. You guys are the friends and family. You're the community. You guys are actually my boss. So let me know in the comments. Thanks for watching. Keep the hype alive. I'll see you again next time.